What's up guys, this is Alec Mack 111 and today I have a review for you of the KWA 1911 Mark II gas pill bag pistol. I don't do a whole lot of pistols, if you guys want to see more pistols and more reviews in general, comment that and subscribe to the channel if you already haven't done that. This is a single stack 1911, as you can tell there, it actually double stacks the BBs, but it's sort of a slimmer mag instead of like the double stack high kappas, which you guys have seen if you've been around for a while, because I used to build high kappas and I really, I had like three of them at one point. Um, this gun is full metal. KDVA makes a very high quality pistol. KDVA has a lot of, like, it's just a really solid build. Sometimes they can have problems. Um, this runs off the NS2 system, which is supposedly supposed to be more gas efficient. I definitely see it as more gas efficient than, say, a WE system or someone else out there like a SOCOM gear, which is higher. Um, version of WE, but just any other gas black pistols, these usually function better, and I've heard a lot of really good things out of these. However, they are kind of expensive. So we're gonna go ahead and shoot it real quick outside my window, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw on my safety goggles, just so you guys can kind of see the blowback action. Here we go. And I'm using map gas in here, so it smells absolutely terrible. Gosh, it's like rotten eggs. If you think propane's bad, just smell map gas. It's honestly terrible. But with this gun, it can handle the map gas and the higher pressure. So because of the higher pressure in the magazine, it kind of helps it kind of kick back. And it increases the FPS by a little bit, but it's mainly designed to have higher pressure to help the magazine out. Because this is a small, thin mag, so it doesn't have a whole lot of gas that it can store in the reservoir. To take this apart, it's really easy. A 1911 is very easy to take apart. I love taking them apart because it's the one pistol I really know how to take apart and I can kind of work on. And just slides off the top here. And you can see how high quality the inside build is. The metal on this is just very high quality. It's not your crappy pot metal. It's very nice metal. Here's the hammer there. It has kind of a golf ball style grip on it. I don't know exactly how I feel. It's comfortable in the hands to like grab. Unfortunately, KDBAs are not compatible with literally any other system, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Um, you can't put any sort of upgrade parts in it. Now, I do know there are companies that make upgrade parts specifically for this, but with a KSC um, pistol, they did make some kind of upgrade parts for these, um, but for the most part, it's kind of far between. You see right here that it has a logo. KDBA also has very nice trademarks. It just says KDBA. Cal 6mm, which I think is helpful, just kind of like, hey, if this, 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 is, if this does kind of look real, um, hey, law enforcement, like, if, if something were to happen of that sense. This is 6mm, it's not a real gun. It has nice white painted iron sights. They have dots, two in the back, one in the front, obviously, and they're really nice painted sights. They're very comfortable. I think it's really easy to aim down the sight when I'm able to do that, and then it's just a really nice sight picture on targets. I also have a belt system on it, so I run this in a servo holster, which is really nice and quick to be able to kind of get it up and shoot people if necessary. It's got some kind of cool grooves on the side here. It's got a bottom rail. I believe there are multiple different 1911 versions for KDB. I think, I don't know if there's like four different ones, um, but this one, the Mark II is the rail and then the golf ball style grips. I was looking at buying a lot of different ones at one point. I was like, man, I really want a KDBA, and then they just were kind of too expensive for me. But nonetheless, finally got one, got it for a view, may use it, I like it, but um, this is not something I, I don't know if I'll, if I'll use it, because I just, I've run out of the use of playing with a pistol. I run and play in areas that are much bigger and are just, I don't really need a pistol, I don't play indoor, and I don't really run out of ammo, and if I do, it's easier for me to swap my mags, because I'm just, I've practiced mag changes and stuff, than to kind of do the Call of Duty tactic and switch sidearms. But hey guys, thanks for watching this video. This has been Alec Mac 101, review of the KDBA Mark II pistol. See you guys later.